Oh yeah! We got him, finally! Get the ego! <clears throat> oh, that is a great hook set too. Oh, look at that! The first snakehead, baby! <laughs> I got you, you turd! Oh my gosh, this thing is massive! We're gonna need the the ultra grip for this for sure. I... Yeah, heard these guys are really, really crazy and they thrash a lot. So let's try to control that mouth of his. Oh my gosh, I just cannot believe we finally, after so many tries, we finally got this guy. Goodness gracious. This guy is wild. Get all that slime off. They are super slimy as well. That is just absolutely insane. Look at that vicious fish right there. Oh my gosh. When they start thrashing, it reminds me of a gar. So I want y'all to see what he did to the hook. Look at that. It's not supposed to look like that, that's for sure. This bad boy is just ruined completely. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe he straightened this guy out. Holy cow. All right, buddy. It's time to put you out of your misery. Uh, Virginia state law says that if you catch one of these guys, they're an invasive species, so you gotta put them like you, you can't return them to the water and I can certainly see why because when the lure swam right by the fella I mean just like a bass he clobbered it and God forbid it was a, a bass that was swimming by him he would definitely clobber it whoo my gosh <clears throat> sorry you is not getting off <clears throat> Look at that, 28 and a half inches. And this dude is pretty much solid muscle. Time to get a photo. We've got to get something else tied on now. This dude just completely wrecked our hook. And that was a five aught right there, swim hook from Bass Assassin. Uh, it's wasted. So is our paddle tail. All right. Man, I'm telling y'all what, that gave me such an adrenaline rush. It is crazy. I, I have been patiently trying to catch one of those guys. And ever since I found out that they were in this particular creek, lake, whatever you want to call it, I have just been concentrating on getting one before I leave Virginia. And thank gosh we got it because we leave here in... Uh, a few more days so I, I am just completely beyond excited to know that I've accomplished what I set out to do and that is get me a snakehead what a spectacular fight that dude provided to all right everyone this is what we're gonna continue with uh, it's not the same color this is a black with some red flakes and a chartreuse tail paddle tail uh, the same style hook, uh, it's a swim hook from Owner, and uh, we're using a 3 aught. I wish I had the 5 aught. We do not have any more of those, so hopefully this guy is going to be able to do it. The gear that I am using, this is an old 18 suppressor rod right here. Ultralight, let that sink in. Uh, I never doubt the hook setting ability. Uh, of these fishing rods and that's why I can get away with using uh, such a small rod. We've got the Luz Custom Light bait caster right here. Super, super ultra light setup. Very light action, meaning that uh, it, it weighs, not light action, it, it just weighs next to nothing so it's feather light. And we've got some 10 pound Power Pro braid with a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what did it. Uh, 
for those of y'all that are brand new to the channel, check out some of my older videos from the Texas coast. You'll see what these setups are able to bring in. Uh, they can crush the big old redfish out there in the Texas marsh and just about anything else that they come up against, they've been able to land. So very, very excited to have been able to land such a big fish on an ultralight setup. I don't know what it is, but he was aggressive. Oh my god, I saw him leave that point. Oh, it's another snakehead. Yeah, baby. Got you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that dude is massive. We are gonna need the ego. So this dude's like literally chased after it. I'm gonna take him out into the open. Oh my god, that is a big one. Holy cow. There we go. Now I know how crazy they get when they start thrashing, so I'm going to leave him outside the boat until we get the ultra grip in his mouth. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. That dude was crazy. Oh, look at that. That is a big freaking dude. How heavy is this one? Oh my, oh my gosh, that is a heavy one by far. He is 10 pounds. Yeah, that is a 10 pounder right there. Definitely way bigger, four pounds bigger than my other one. Oh my gosh. Get him back inside the water, just so that I can put this away, but I need to make sure I got this fella good because I already know the power that they've got. So this guy, boy, he fought significantly harder too. I don't know how I would land them without this net or much less get my hook back without the, the ultra grip. Oh, wow. Spectacular catch right there for sure. Two for two, man. Look at this freaking turd, he is massive. Ladies and gentlemen, well, today it has just turned full circle. I finally have the luck on my side and what, what a great day this has turned out to be. I am done. <laughs> the, the rains are about to come and hit. I was hoping that we could catch these fellas before uh, that downpour comes and the clouds are finally starting to shift. It's turning gray, blocking out the sun. No matter, we got our snakehead and I am super excited. So everything that I've learned about these guys, I'm not sure if I recorded it earlier, but um, I was saying they act like alligator gar whenever uh, you put a lure, like swimming it by, they, uh, an alligator gar normally won't chase after the lure in my experience uh, this guy just proved me wrong like I was swimming it right at the point of all the foliage and this dude I saw the tail thrust and the wake going after it and I was like oh my gosh I didn't know if it was gonna be a bass or not because it was characteristic of a largemouth and this fella when he chomped it oh my goodness I knew something big was at the other end of the line and the ultralight it still can beat anything that it has come up against. Uh, enough hook setting power, you just got to expose it, uh, which is something that I wasn't doing because I was trying to keep it as weedless as possible, but man oh man, with it exposed just a tad bit, it was able to bite him on the inner portion of the mouth, and oh my gosh, I took a look at their teeth their heads are super hard and their teeth are just completely vicious, several rows of them. All right, I'm gonna tend to this fella and then uh, start making my way back because there's no sense in getting caught out here. Thank you so much for watching. 
All right, we just got our hook out. I thought I was recording. He uh, gave one good thrashing after I pulled it out, but uh, check it out. He did not ruin this one the way he did the other. We're pretty good to go to catch another one on the way back. Whew, let's just see how big this guy is now, or how long he is. I'm pretty sure he's going to stretch the entire length of the board or darn near close to it. Yeah, he is uh, 29 and three quarters of an inch. 29 three quarters, 10 pounds, super, super crazy. baby oh my gosh <laughs> this one is by far the hardest fighting oh wow that is another massive snakehead gosh almighty these guys are massive i think this one might be bigger than the second one that we caught just might be boy look at that look at the colors looks just like a python there we go oh yeah oh my gosh three of them oh wow i'm not letting him down because that would be a Big mistake letting him just thrash all over the boat. Let's hang him overboard. Oh my gosh. Three massive snakeheads. Good night. Batting 1000 right there, baby. Oh. Look at that. Okay, so now we're going to see just how much he weighs. Oh my gosh. That is a 12 pounder. He's a little over 12 pounds. Goodness gracious. I'm not even too sure how heavy or how long he's gonna be, but I figured he was gonna be bigger. That dude fought like crazy. Here we go. We're gonna see how long he is now. Right there at the end of the board, 30 and a half inches. Good night. Oh my gosh talk about really laying into them uh, they have just like completely let go of the lock jaw they're feeding full frenzy we almost had a fourth one before this guy or a third one this guy would have been the fourth one uh, right before him I had another fella just chase out of the grass or the the weeds whatever you want to call that stuff and come all the way back to the kayak and uh, just decide, nope, I'm not gonna bite it after he saw me. And then this fella, as we're making our way back to the ramp, I am done, that is it. And that right there is how it's gonna end, ladies and gentlemen, a massive 12 pound fish that looks like a python, the snakehead. I'm telling you what, for all the like landlocked, fishermen that are out there who have an opportunity to go after snakeheads it's the next best thing to saltwater fishing they don't pull quite as hard as a, a redfish but uh, I'm telling you what they do pull hard enough to get your blood pumping and make you want to come back out for more I had an absolute blast it is by far the best day of fishing that I have had since I've been out here in Virginia and uh, if I have an opportunity to come back out for another day of snakehead fishing, then I will. But first, what I want to do is head over to another lake and try and chase after some crappie to see if we can tear into those guys. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate the love and support that y'all show me. If you're brand new to the channel, 
and you enjoyed what you saw, do me a favor, stick around for a little bit, watch a few of my other videos, and if you enjoy those as well, then please consider subscribing for everyone else. If you really want to support the channel, please share this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and until next time, tight lines, y'all. Thank you.